So when you look at the things that herbs do, they protect cellular structures and protect mitochondria. They reduce cellular stress. That's the big thing. They reduce cellular stress. So cells don't use as much energy. They last longer. And that's something that's very different. You know, a lot of people are trying to pump up their mitochondria with nutrients, but they're not addressing the cellular stress factors. So it's not doing as much as the herbs, which are reducing cellular stress, which preserves mitochondria. And that helps modulate immune system functions. Um, they're robust antioxidants. It optimizes detoxification and protects the liver. Another aspect of phytochemicals is balancing hormones and neurotransmitters. But one of the big and most impressive things is suppression of microbes and balancing the microbiome. So all herbs have antimicrobial properties because all plants do. All plants have to have protection against microbes, but it's not one chemical like an antibiotic. It is a system of chemicals that uh, it's basically a defense system that's something like our immune system that has uh, a wide range of activity against huge variety of uh, viruses, protozoa, bacteria. Um, and when you take herbs, you get that extra production. Some herbs have better or more specific antimicrobial properties than others. It depends on the, the environment where the plant came along. Um, but unlike synthetic antibiotics, herbs don't cause resistance. Um, because it's not a single chemical that a bacteria can get around, it's hundreds of chemicals hitting the bacteria in, in various different ways. Antibiotic uh, or bacterial resistance to herbs is unknown. It's not thought to happen. So when we look at antibiotic resistance, herbs may be our savior. It may be the one thing that we are able to rely on. The other thing that's really interesting about herbs is they don't disrupt the gut flora. They don't disrupt the balance of the microbiome in the body. And, you know, that makes sense because herbs, plants have to take care of their friendly flora while they're fending off uh, 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 pathogens. So, again, it's a system. It's not just a, a single agent. And so there's a certain intelligence about it. And the value of that is that you can take herbs for a long time and you don't, you don't have to worry about them messing up your gut flora. In fact, I've been taking herbs continually for 15 years now and my health just keeps getting better.